Recently, I got a very interesting gift from my mother. It came in the mail. It was an ancestry test. Now, if you don't know what an ancestry test is, basically, it's a DNA test that tells you where your ancestors came from, tells you where you came from through many, many generations. We call those people long, long ago ancestors. We could also say it's a genetic test. Genetic is the adjective for gene. We say genetic. So through this DNA test, you can tell where actually you came from, which part of the world your ancestors lived or which parts of the world your ancestors lived. And I have not seen the results yet. So the company is called 23andMe. This is the company that does the ancestry tests. There are other companies that do it, but the one I got was from 23andMe. Basically, you get a kit, it comes in the box, you take it out, you read it, I didn't read it, but then you have to spit into a tube, to a special little tube, fill it up to the line, close it, put it in a special bag, and then mail it back to them, and then they analyze the results. So I've been getting pretty regular emails from 23andMe with updates about the, the process. We received your sample, the saliva. Saliva is another word for spit, we call it saliva, it's the more the more medical, I guess, professional term is saliva. We received your sample. We are now processing your sample. I guess to do this test, they have to actually dump out the saliva from the tube and, and test it. I don't know how they do it, but can you imagine if that was your job? What do you do? I, I just dump saliva out of tubes all day. That's my job. That's all I do. I'm an assistant and I dump saliva out of tubes. What, what about you? So I've been waiting, I've been getting these updates, and finally, the last one I got a couple days ago was to tell me that my results are ready. I did not click on the results. I want to be very clear. I'm filming this now, and I have not seen the results, so I don't know what they're going to say. I wanted to make it kind of a real thing. So I'm going to actually open the results and look at them now so that we can kind of see it together and I can see where I come from. I'm, I'm, I'm a little bit excited. I'm a little nervous. I mean, I hope I'm, I hope I'm, you know, at least a, at least a person. Okay. So let's just, let's just check it out. Let's do it. Go to my email. You can see I have 57,547 unread emails. Don't worry about that. Don't worry about it. That bothers some people. Doesn't bother me. Click on that. All right. So here's the email. You can see these are the previous ones. We are genotyping your DNA. Whatever that means, I'm not quite sure. Um, what to expect in your reports. We're reviewing your genetic data. Ooh, that sounds important. Okay, your results are ready. Luke, welcome to you. 23andMe results for Luke Pretty, that's my name, are in. A world of DNA discovery is waiting. Okay, no reason to wait. Here we go. I'm in. I'm in. The first thing they show you, great, is an upgrade now for $125. What a what a scam. That's not a good thing. That's not a good thing to show, right? At the very top of the screen. <laughs> good job, you did it. Do you want to upgrade for $125? Come on. No thanks. Take me to my take me to my results. Okay? Go to the results. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Results. Ancestry composition. LP, that's me. Overview. What? What does this mean? Oh my god! We've identified 318 genetic variants that can be traced to Neanderthals, ancient humans who interbred with modern humans before going extinct 40,000 years ago. Great! So I have 318. Does that mean I have 318 ancestors who were less than human? Nice, nice. I always knew there was something special about me. Hooray, hooray. This is just the overview stuff, right? I haven't even looked at the serious results yet, but it's already very interesting. 36.2% British and Irish. That kind of makes sense. I knew that my family mostly came from England, at least on my mother's side. I'm sure about that. With ties to two other populations. So we'll see what that means. DNA relatives, you share DNA and ancestors with 1,140 other 23andMe customers. That's pretty interesting. That's cool. So I've got, I've got so far Neanderthal ancestry. 
Um, less than human, basically. Part of me. Some part of me is what I thought, right? From England and Ireland. And then this one says, get to know your relatives. They are 54% more likely to think that fresh cilantro tastes like soap. That's weird. 100% of your relatives have British and Irish ancestry. So I'm definitely European, right? I hate to disappoint any of you who thought maybe I was, I was Asian. All right, let's see. View report. Let's see. View report. Wow. 100%. Okay, so this show is showing me a map of basically where my ancestors come from. 99.2% North Western Europe. So basically, uh, Sweden, Finland, UK, Ireland, all around Europe. Uh, Germanic areas. Wow, I'm very European, as it turns out. Very, very European. British and Irish, 36.2%. French and German, 29%. That's cool. Scandinavian, which means those countries up, including Sweden, above, uh, above England and France. Uh, Scandinavian, 14%. Southern European, 0.2%. So basically... 99.2% European, about as European as it gets. And honestly, I'm, I'm a little bit disappointed that I don't have anything more interesting going on. I mean, there's nothing over here. There's nothing down here in Africa. I've got nothing outside of Europe. A little bit predictable. It's kind of what I expected. It's kind of what I thought. It's what I've been told by my family members, but I was hoping for something over here, just kind of weird. Oh, actually, you're 2%, you know, you're 2% Inuit or you're 2%, I don't know, Thai or Chinese or something. That would have been cool. Oh, well. Okay, so it gives you a bit of a breakdown for each of these. Northwestern Europeans are represented by people from as far west as Ireland, as far north as Norway, as far east as Finland, and as far south as France. These countries rim the North and Baltic Seas, okay. Kind of knew that. Not even that interested in the British Irish thing, right? Vikings, okay, yeah, kind of predictable. Kind of knew that. French and German, 29.3%. French and German people descend from ancient Celtic and Germanic populations and inhabit an area extending from the Netherlands to to Austria, yeah. Ah, a little predictable. A little predictable. Okay, let's go down here. Your ancestry timeline. This is pretty cool. So it's showing me when my most recent ancestors appeared to be in the places where my ancestors have come from. So British and Irish are apparently the most recent. And then before that, French and German, so maybe some of my French and German ancestors came to Britain and Ireland, and before that, Scandinavian, all the way back to 1780. So that means way back in 1780, my ancestors, apparently, many of them, were mostly in Scandinavia, that region of the world. Interesting. Cool. I'll have to look at this more, uh, more later in more detail. But uh, pretty interesting still. I'm not. I've got you are nothing fake in. Native American. No. <laughs> what you do you expect? Fake I'm not a Native American. You are not. No, I'm European. I mean, my ancestors are from Europe, but I don't have anything in Asia. I've got nothing in Africa. I'm all European. This is where all my ancestors come from. Ninety-nine point two. Wow. You should. You should. You should do this. I I don't want to do this. Yeah, but you it's should. a little bit more it's a little bit expensive. Not you know? not that much. Are you kidding me? A DNA test for what, like sixty dollars? Something like that? What did you just did And you just spit spit into a tube and fill it up and send it in. Alright guys, well that's basically it. That's what I wanted to show you. I just wanted to to show you the results as I was seeing them, just because I thought it would be cool. The thing that surprised me most is not that my ancestors are from Europe. I kind of knew that. The thing that surprises me is this. This surprises me. 318 from Neanderthal variants. This is more than 96% of other 23andMe customers. So, 
<laughs> what this means is, let me just say what this means. I am genetically, remember that's the adjective for gene, right? My DNA, I am genetically 96% less human because <laughs> the Neanderthals are sort of the low and stupid uh, big, you know, people that, that were walking around with humans at the same time. I am 96% less human than most of you. That's what that means. So take that for what it is. There it is. It's also made me more interested about Neanderthals. If I, I come more from Neanderthals than 96% of other people, what does that mean? What does that mean? Maybe I should be eating more meat? Maybe I should be more violent? Um, stop reading books for sure. I mean, reading, what's the point? I'm a Neanderthal, right? 96%. It's given me a lot to think about. I need to rethink things. Buy a tiger and uh, a spear. I think I need a spear as well. Very interesting. Very interesting. All right, guys. Well, hopefully this was interesting for you. I'm glad we got to kind of share the experience of finding out where I come from and where my, my ancestors come from. I'm curious from you. If you haven't done one of these tests, where do you think your ancestors are mostly from? Where do you think? And if you have done one of these tests, what did it say? Where are you mostly from? I'd be very curious to hear from you in the comments. So let me know. And thanks for watching. And I will see you next week.